Fiery Phoenix While we were praying and were told to raise our hands, I saw a place that looked like a stadium. In it were many people singing and dancing. I saw an open rectangular ivory box full of books. There were old and new looking books. I saw a man moving around laying hands on people's chests. His hands would pass right through their chest and reach straight for the heart. There was another scene where there was a bowl or vat of purple wine. As the man went around laying hands directly on our hearts, there was a woman's face. She looked like a Caucasian brunette. This face was imposed over our faces. It seemed all of us had the same face, male or female. I had the impression that that was the face of Jerusalem above, the mother of us all. I saw a fiery red phoenix, not quite like a bird, more like a pterodactyl or flying dinosaur. It came out from underneath the ground and rose to the center of the room. The center of the room seemed like a rounded chimney. The phoenix started flying around and it set the walls around us on fire. It seemed to set the hearts of people on fire again, more like it was reigniting their fires. I had an impression of unity in passion. I saw people lift up their chained hands. The fire had set them free from the tethers, but hadn't removed the chains from their bodies. There was a fan on the floor fanning the flame. The fan was a type that one would press to release air, not the normal hand fan. I also had the impression of 2 Timothy 1 verse 6. Therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. Then I saw the whole room turn white. Fresh snow replaced all the flames. I saw a man who represented the Lord with a woman. They were ice skating and dancing on what must have been a frozen pond. They were both dressed in white, dancing cha-cha. The lady dancing seemed to be doing most of the work, but her movements were in whatever direction the man sent her. He didn't move much, but they were in sync. The music kept speeding up, and she had to dance faster and faster. While she was dancing, her skirt was flapping up and down, and he was dipping her, throwing her from one side to the other, and doing lots of tricks. I had the impression that such dancing would require complete trust of the partner and death to shame. Then they slowed down the music and she stayed in sync. However, the moves became more technical and less spontaneous. I saw the eyes start cracking under their skating boots and they moved further apart. It looked like he was leaving her in the danger zone. Then the eyes completely gave way and she faltered for a bit before removing her skate and stepping on the water barefoot. She kept dancing on the water, but now she was simply doing exactly what her partner was doing from across the platform. I had the impression that we were being led into situations where we would have to take off our shoes and adjust to unfamiliar situations standing by faith in God. I saw myself in a place at dusk. It seemed there had been some sort of massacre. There were dead deer and elks in heaps on this deserted field. Then I saw the Lord on his throne in the middle of the carcasses. He was laughing. I couldn't understand it. He was saying, Do you know all this is good? I understood he was referring to Romans 8, 28, but I didn't still understand why he was laughing. I was supposed to join in to laugh, hold his hands and jump around for joy, but I couldn't laugh when everything was so dreary. He was laughing and spinning me around, and I saw that a few of the dead animals were waking up. I was happy and started laughing. I saw all of us in the room standing, joined hand to hand. It was like some people had hands that were not complete, like parts were missing. 
those parts fused with their neighbor's whole hands and they became one complete hand. I heard that God's word would become to us the joy and rejoicing of our heart. I had the impression that people would be reading their Bibles and literally start laughing for joy. When Pastor prayed about God sending his word, I saw the Hebrew letter Aleph, which is the first letter, and I had the impression we had come to a new beginning, a fresh start. When we were praying at the end of the meeting, I saw the date on a calendar blur and turn into September. 25th October 2019, Sister M.E., Copyright Gamwatch.